Fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Actually, forget that. No more fish. After returning from a ski touring trip to Japan, Jillian has had enough fish, but not enough soft, fluffy Japao, which I'm assuming is Japan power. Today, she will be giving speech number eight from the competent communicator, Get Comfortable with Visual Aids. Her speech is titled, Japowerment. Her objectives are to select appropriate visual aids and use them correctly with ease and confidence. Please welcome Jill Mark. There's no one else there. It's the softest, 
lightest, most pristine conditions that I ever skied in. So after we would go up, we would go down, and then back up, and back down. And then the next day, we would get up, and we would do it again. We would go back up. Life was very, very simple. Those tracks still all ours. There's nobody out there but us. Then we would ski down. And this is a really tough part, because after we spent all day skiing in these conditions, we would have to go to the onsen. The onsen is a natural hot spring. <laughs> Hokkaido is littered with these natural hot springs. So you get up, you eat the full breakfast, you go ski for seven hours, then you hit the hot spring. They are fantastic. They're separated by gender. You go in, disrobe, fully clean yourself. The Japanese are incredibly clean. And then proceed out into this beautiful scenery that looks somewhat like this, totally nude, sit in a hot bath until you're satisfied. Get out of the bath and head into dinner, which consisted of multi bold Japanese traditional fare. So, although the days were fantastic, filled with powder, smiles, excellent food, what truly sticks is this group of women. We were all brought here to encourage each other and to empower each other to become better, to discover what it is not only to travel to far off countries, but to support each other and bond over a common goal, which was skiing in this fresh snow. And like all journeys, time comes to an end. And although I haven't spoken to this group of women since we all parted ways in Sapporo, we were forever connected. There was something special about this trip, enabling us to encourage and support each other not only on the snow, but in life, in careers, and relationships. <clears throat> Thinking back to Japan, it wasn't necessarily the skiing that will forever stay in my memory, but to this group of women and the connection and bond that we now share. We are forever linked by this bond of empowerment and encouragement in the mountains of Hirano. We all step back into this world with a little bit of a different perspective, a bit stronger, and able to carry on our own journeys and encourage others to have this same experience. I definitely grew through this time in Japan, and I'm sure that everyone else did too. We all made our mark in the Hokkaido village.